Hey all, Joe here, and here we are for How to Blaziken Part 1. Now, this first part's going to be a basic guide slash some first impressions slash a few tips and tricks. And of course, there will be a Part 2 and a 3 in the future that are a lot more in-depth, so get ready for those. Also, vote in the comments below who you want for next time. With all that said, let's get this going. So, to start off with my first impressions, first I'm going to say that he is a very offensive and kind of unsafe fighter. You have to kind of think of him like Captain Falcon and Zelda mixed together from Smash Bros. He has a ton of lag on a lot of his moves, and he just kind of has to go ham most of the time, but of course, you are rewarded greatly for going ham. This character has maybe the best combo game in the whole game if you happen to hit the first move. His attacks go from hit to hit to hit and take a huge chunk of the enemy's HP. As well, you can often read the enemy as Blaziken and extend your combos even more and just keep up the damage you can go for a hit to hit. Wait a second, maybe get a grab and then just continue the combo from there. You have a ton of different ways to get extend your combos, a ton of ways to get just hurt the opponent, and each of your combos themselves do a ton of damage. You're just insane once you get in with this guy. Now, a nice thing is that you have many ways to get in also, which is just great. Some of them are safe and some of them are not. Now, his Blaze Kick in particular is one of my personal favorites as it's pretty safe and it goes quite far. As well, his Jumping X is a good way to get in even though it's not the most safe move in the game and he can just easily close gaps pretty easily. Now, on a different note, almost all of his A moves can be held for a second move slash a second more powerful attack and this is really cool. This lets you have a ton of mix up with these and the enemy has to guess whether you're going to hold a button or not and this can make the difference between a counter attack break or not having a counter attack break, which can be very useful, especially in competitive play. Now, a bad thing about Blaziken is that he has an awful sneaking counter attack, and I haven't really a clue why they made this thing so bad. I mean, it just really doesn't work as well as others. It's really annoying as a close up and personal fighter, but you just kind of have to deal with it when you're playing this character. And back to another good thing, your long range really isn't that bad. Normally you would expect it to be quite trash as someone that has to go ham and just isn't that safe, but actually you do quite fine, especially in the field mode. It's definitely not one of the best long range games fighters in the entire game, but you know, he does quite fine for being a close range guy. Finally, I want to mention that your Mega is pretty dang good. You get a nice speed boost and a big boost to your damage. This lets your combos do even more versus the enemy and makes so once you get in, you can accomplish a lot more. As well, the burst attack is quite nice as it comes out quick, has a good hitbox, and just does a ton of damage. Also, it is very easy to combo into your burst attack, and it can be used that way without way too much effort. You can just use most of your attacks and it'll combo straight into your burst attack. Now, for the basic playstyle of this guy, I'm going to have to say straight out, you gotta go ham, you gotta get them reads, and you gotta take those kills. Honestly, as Blaziken, you must go in quite often or you're really at a disadvantage, especially in the dual mode. The only problem about this is that most of your attacks really don't have the best frame data in the game, which means that a lot of them are kind of slow and the enemy can hit you before them. Now, I don't really know why this happens since you're a close range person, but that's just kind of what Nintendo decided. This makes it somewhat hard when you're even close up, as you need to input your attacks first, and you really have to read what the enemy is going to do. He's pretty dang unsafe, kind of slow, kind of hard to read with, but if you do get a few hits, you will take a majority of the enemy's HP, and that's the really great thing about Blaziken. Again. Now, for the field phase, you do okay. I mean, not great, but okay. You have the side Y for some nice far range pressure, and of course, your regular YY for an okay range attack. As well, you got yourself your jumping YY to snipe people from far away, which is probably one of your best moves, and the jumping Y into side Y for a nice quick mix up in the air, because they're really gonna expect you to go for the jumping YY. As well, for offense, you can go in pretty naturally in this mode with your jumping R, which lets you glide quite far, which leads into an X after that, or any of your A moves, which almost all go into this. You do quite fine here. You can play a little bit more defensively, a little bit more offensively, you do okay. But I mean, for the bad, you can be camped quite easily here by people with quick defensive options. This beats out your slow approaching A moves, and as well your jumping X, which is a bit of a problem. As well, they often beat out your jumping YY once again, and if that's gone, you have really big problems. It can also be pretty hard to get in from here, and I feel like this is where he has some bad troubles. Now, in the dual phase, I'll say that he does quite good for the most part, especially versus mid to close range enemies. You can easily beat out most of their approach options with your A moves, and after that, you got yourself a super easy combo. As well, you have your jumping Y, which is great for this, and a lot of your X and Y moves which just stop the enemy. You just have a lot of middle range hits, and you can quite easily take out some big damage on a foe that's middle to close range. Also, you have many ways to get in in the dual phase, and some really nice aerial slash grounded attacks that combo very well, and his combo game is just super insane in the dual phase. Now, of course, for the bad, there is some bad again. I feel like you really can't do that much versus a lot of these faster people with a lot better frame data. Your attacks come out somewhat slow and they can just easily counter them or shield them and then punish you, which is really bad. It's hard for you to beat these people without very hard reads, but if you do have these reads, you can win. Your damage output beats most of the faster enemies and you can really chunk their HP quickly, especially because you have a decent amount of HP yourself. You do hurt yourself quite a bit, but the HP you do to your enemy far outdoes the HP you do to yourself, so you gotta keep that all in mind. 
Now for a few tips and tricks, the first one is just don't spam your A moves. Now these are all very good, but they can be shielded and from there they are super counterable. They have a ton of stinking end lag, so don't spam them. Also you do big damage to yourself, so if you miss, you're in big trouble. Really just use them at the right time, don't use them all the time, even though you may want to. After that, maybe try Electrode out as a support. With him at your side, it forces the enemy to shield as if they don't, you will either run up and hit them with an A move, or if they attack, they'll get hit with Electrode. So with this in mind, you can use this to your advantage by going in and going for a grab while they expect an offensive move. And they're probably going to be shielding here so you can get a grab and go right through this. This is a really great and easy mix up, and if they try to attack you during this, or attack you during the grab and get a critical hit, of course, they will just be blown up, so it beats that option. Essentially, it's just a really good mix up and a really good option as Blaziken. Finally, if you don't use that guy, try out Frogadier. Now the thing is that this guy is always good, but he's especially good on Blaziken. It allows you to safely approach during the water shurikens, and from there you can go ham as you always try to do. It's a great option for support, and one of my personal favorites is Blaziken. Now finally, how strong do I feel Blaziken will be? Well, I feel like he'll be an okay fighter. He's a close range fighter that's oriented at the close range, but feels a little bit too slow to be good at this all the time. He still does quite well against a lot of the cast, but he does have some problems of his risk versus reward ratio. I can definitely Definitely see him blazing through a tournament from one time to another, but I feel like he will be kind of like Captain Falco from Smash and not always be the star of the show. And there you go, thank you all for watching, hope you enjoyed, of course this was the very basic thing and part 2 and 3 will be a lot more in depth, so subscribe if you want to see those, comment down below who you want to see next time, hope you all enjoyed, thank you all for watching and I will see you all next time.